Hey, I'm Jake, and today we're going to work Bakasana, or Crow Pose. So there's a couple ways to do it. Okay, the first way, the first step for Crow Pose is feet as wide as your mat. Turn your feet out towards the side walls. Bend your knees as wide as your feet for a squat. Press your triceps against your inner knees. Inner knees against your triceps to create a lift in your low back. From here, place your hands, pointer fingers straight forward, hand shoulder width apart, and bend your elbows a lot. Butt up, face way forward, hips up high, come to your tippy toes, and maybe lift one foot or the other. Okay, as you're testing the waters, and eventually both feet, inner edges of the feet touch. And you grip your fingertips to hit the brakes. We'll come on down. Okay, that one's good as we're working to get lift off. As you get more fluent there, you're gonna to wanna to squat with your feet together, inner edges of the feet touch, draw your inner heels together, and set them down towards the floor, knees wide. Reach your arms out in front of you. Use your fingertips to pull your chest the opposite direction as your hips. So get really low. Okay, from here, slide your hands towards you. Wing your elbows wide. All right, so your knees go way up on your arms, high up on the arms, even like shimmy yourself deeper in so your knees are as high up on the arms as they'll go. Then place your hands. Okay, you're gonna bend your elbows a lot again. Tip forward, bend the elbows a lot. To lift one or both feet, inner edges of the feet touch. Now from here, push the floor away to straighten your arms, dome your mid back like cat pose to more of a Straight armed bakasana. Okay, a little, little different from the bent elbowed variation, but as you advance, you're going to want to go for more of this straight armed uh, variation of bakasana. So enjoy your arm balancing. I'm Jake. Namaste.